Morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. So frustrating. Even when the river stops, even when it all looks different. Yeah. So normally by this time of the week I would have had probably five minutes done of the video already but it's been a pretty incredibly busy week. First off we found two flicks on, two ticks on Flynn and uh, we had to pull those off ourselves and then we got him a doctor's appointment and on the, like, the day before we got to the doctor he also developed his eye infection. So he's turning out to be quite the problem child already. One thing I've been trying to do all week though is get this shot of Flynn chasing after the frisbee. It's proven to be really difficult because he's getting faster and faster. I'm gonna see right now if I can uh, actually pull that off successfully. How good was that? That's amazing. I, as you were doing it, I was like, no way is this gonna turn out. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, fourth or fifth time's the charm. All right, uh, I hope you guys are all topped up on Flynn footage. Let's, I'm gonna show you guys what we have been working on. This is uh, not the website, but it is a basically where you can go sign up to get notified the second that the website becomes live. Also, that's gonna kinda be the way that we let people know like as soon as mugs are available, as soon as we're gonna do a pre-order for t-shirts or anything like that, that'll be the first place and then we'll kinda, when we get to it, we'll put it on our Instagram and, and then the YouTube video at the end of the week. Gonna start small mm -hmm. with a few things. Yeah. Hopefully gonna try to figure out how to deliver to Canada. That's a... That's the top of the list is uh, we're gonna try to make sure that we can do Canada. Europe is gonna have to come later. Right now with the coronavirus, it's insane. Yeah, so if you go put your email in there, if you haven't already, you'll be the first to know. Next thing, we would love to have everyone's help with um, deciding what coffee mug we should get. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna just show you guys some stuff and then go over to like our Instagram, I think, and... We'll have a poll. Up. We'll have a poll going on Instagram. We're gonna do a diner mug and a cappuccino mug. Because yep. some people don't like cappuccino mugs, they want like a big cup of coffee. Like drip coffee. I like that a lot, with the square around it. That's intense. Cappuccino mugs, everyone's gonna like that the best. That'd be it, but I also love that so much. Yeah. Keep in mind that um, doing multiple colors is a little bit more difficult and more expensive, but the we, thing is, we aren't like doing this to make money. No. We want it to be cool, we want it to be stuff you'll actually use and yeah. good quality. If it's like a t-shirt you'll wear all the time and love it because mm -hmm. I, I don't like getting stuff that I'm gonna wear one time and then you put it in the wash and it gets like, turns into cardboard. Yeah. So. Only t-shirt you wanna wear ever. Yeah, even if we make like 50 cents on it, yeah. whatever. Hopefully a little more than 50 cents. The TTL is cool too, I don't know. Yeah, okay. So hopefully you got the idea out of that. Head over to Instagram, take part in the poll. We'd really appreciate your help throughout this entire process, so. Yeah. Thanks a lot. The other thing that I've been working on super hard this week is finally, finally 
getting my gravel bike built up. When we were down in um, Tucson, I was riding the Argon electric gravel bike, but just no replacement for the real deal, the dark matter. I had this bike basically as soon as it came out. I'm now on my second one. I actually sold the first one to Nate, who you guys all know now, in exchange for new carpets in our house. <laughs> Don't tell Nate's wife. Um, this is my new one, and this is the first time I've actually gotten a full gravel group set from Shimano. New GRX, bike's almost ready to go. I just need to put the handlebars on, and we're actually gonna go buy bar tape on the way to where we're gonna ride gravel. Look at that beauty. Oh, feels good. Tonight I'm making two recipes from Lindsay Corbin's website, Hazel and Blue. Spiced sweet potato fries and Middle Eastern inspired turkey burgers. So she always posts beautiful pictures of her recipes. Um, I'm gonna try to replicate it. I don't think it'll look as good, but hopefully it'll taste as good because I'm gonna copy it exactly ingredient for ingredient. So starting with sweet potato fries, so those can go in the oven and then I'll get started on the turkey burgers. So the sweet potato fries, I cut up three small sweet potatoes into wedges, two tablespoons of olive oil, teaspoon of ground cumin, teaspoon of coriander. This also forced me to restock the spice cabinet. Quarter teaspoon of cloves. Quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, heaping. And half a teaspoon of salt. I'm supposed to just toss them all in a bowl, lay them out flat, heat the oven to 425 Fahrenheit 
flip them halfway through till they're golden brown and crispy. I've never had sweet potato fries turn out crispy, so we'll see if this is magic. So the Middle Eastern inspired turkey burgers, you can make them two ways. You can do it on like a salad bowl or you can do it on a bun and we're gonna do it on a bun. For the turkey burger, one pound ground turkey, half a cup feta cheese in brine preferably. I'm gonna assume like half of this is probably half a cup. Half a cup of chopped onion. I probably chopped more than a half a cup. Two cloves of garlic. Could have been minced, pretty small. Half a cup of parsley or cilantro, chopped. So we're doing rough estimates of all the measurements. Maybe that will be what I can blame it on if it doesn't turn out. So yeah. Now we're gonna do all the spices, which are actually very similar spices to the soup chip fries. Nice. One and a half teaspoons of coriander. One and a half teaspoon of ground cumin, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, small amounts of cloves because the spice is like seven times more expensive than the other spices. Quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. Gonna need some more salt. I think we have more salt in the van. Just says black pepper, so probably just like whatever you feel like. And then last thing, one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Now you're supposed to mix it all together. It says do not over mix or you'll end up with tough burgers. How do you know if you over mix? I mean, what's the... I think it just means like don't go crazy, you know, like Make sure it's all mixed together, but don't, don't make it too tough, yeah. I just want to give a quick shout out to my sister for um, entertaining the demon while we cook. Thank you so much. And pausing her show. <laughs> and pausing the awesome TV show she was watching. I think we're good. Now the final step is to make, form those into patties and make a cucumber yogurt spread. <laughs> this is all come together in about like 20 minutes, so it's pretty fast. Please. So now for the cucumber yogurt spread that we're gonna put on the buns with the burgers on them. The ingredients for that are half a cup of Greek yogurt, half of an English cucumber, seeded and grated. So fancy. Half a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. A tablespoon of fresh chopped mint. Okay, and then it's just salt and pepper. And then mix it all up. Okay, so now we're just putting these into four patties, heating them in a pan, toast some buns, and we'll show you the final product. You're also supposed to put jarred roasted red pepper on with it. And I couldn't find those, so I'm hoping these are like kind of similar. Dice pimientos. Turkey burgers, a la Lindsay Corbin. And that yogurt dressing is so amazing. That like makes it. Okay. It's so good. I don't know, like when I've made turkey burgers, it's just like the most elaborate that I get, I like put cranberries in it or something, but the, like, the, all the spices inside of this are just, it's so flavorful. Yeah. We're gonna make it again? Yeah, or we can make another one. 
maybe all the things are this kind. Huh? Delicious. Delicious.